This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Mackney to Marbella. We're at the press conference for heavy duty September the 12th. Joshua versus Cornish. Representing Cornish, we've got Tommy Gilmore. How are you, sir? Very well. Yeah? Delighted to be here. Absolutely. Um, since we last spoke at the press conference uh, with uh, Kelly Maloney, uh, did you think this fight would happen so quickly? Well, yeah, I would have preferred it to happen in 2016, but the boy, the boy is more than keen. He fancies the job. He wants to get it, get it over and done with. He wants to be the first guy to defeat Anthony Joshua. So we're on the way. Obviously, as biasly as you're going to answer this question, how do you rate his chances of uh, taking over what people are saying is the next big heavyweight to come out of Britain in Anthony Joshua? Well, I mean, how, how do you put a, a value on? Uh, the, what Gary's achieved, he, he's never tasted defeat, he's never been defeated. Nine amateur fights, 21 pro fights, never been beat. Been on the deck, got up off the deck, stopped the guy, you know, so how good, how good is Gary Cornish? But um, obviously this is an <coughs> intriguing matchup. they're both undefeated fighters, like I said, experience-wise, uh, Gary Cornish is, what, 21 and 0 now, and obviously, you know, believes that this is the right time that he can be the man to derail this hype train that is Anthony Joshua. Yeah, but I think all the pressure's in Anthony Joshua because, I mean, people are expecting Joshua's introduction into the pro ranks has been phenomenal. You know, so um, any, anything other than, you know, blasting people out, then people start to question Anthony Joshua. You know, and I think that for both fighters, both for Gary Cornish, um, who I've been building up over the last four years, uh, and, and Anthony Joshua, I think this is the first real live um, opponent that either of them f have fought. You know, Cornish has got ambition, you know, so he wants to gun and uh, I, I think that he'll, he'll prove a formidable test. Would you believe that Gary Cornish can offer that the previous opponents that Anthony Joshua's faced haven't? What was that, sorry? What do you believe he can offer in the uh, ring? Yeah. I, th I think they will to win. I think that a lot of them may have been coming for the payday. But certainly Gary Cornish isn't coming for the payday because if it, if it was just purely about the money, then he would have listened and I would have tried to make the fight in 2006 with another three or four zeros on, he, on his purse. So he's happy to, to, you know, to, to roll the dice and, and take his chances at this, this particular stage rather than building up in an even bigger fight. Absolutely. Tommy, can you make any comment on why um, Kelly Maloney isn't here? No, because it's nothing to do with it. Okay. I mean, Gary, I'm Gary Cornish's sole manager. Right. End of story. So, as in reference to the press conference that with Kelly Maloney yourself and Gary Cornish in London before... That was because he went... You know, Gary Cornish has fought on five, five of Chris Gilmer's shows, he's fought on Ian Wilson's shows, he's fought on Frank Maloney's shows, he's fought on Frank Warren's shows, and Kelly Maloney wanted to promote, he's now on a... He's now in a Eddie Hearn show. I don't, my fighters don't have promoters. Right. They're, they're solely managed by Tommy Gilmer and I make, the, I make the, the decisions solely for Gary Cornish. I think people were just under the assumption that Kelly Bowley was part of the Cornish team as yourself and no? Me. That was Tommy's area. Absolutely, yeah. I've been a loner for 43 years. I'm not going to change it differently now. All right, listen, Tommy, thanks for talking to Eiffel okay. TV and uh, let's look forward to the press conference. No problem. Thank you very much. Thanks.